Thank you, Tony. Tonight, we know the dancing cop will not be directing traffic in East Providence this holiday season. The mayor told Eyewitness News today that it wouldn't even be discussed at tonight's city council meeting. Now, the decision came following a parting of ways between Tony the dancing cop and the Providence Police Department. That all stemmed from a disagreement about Tony Lepore's comments about a Providence police officer receiving a coffee cup at a Dunkin' Donuts with Black Lives Matter scrawled on it. Tonight, East Providence residents and local members of the Black Lives Matter movement had their say in front of the council. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands has the story that's new tonight. It was a packed city council meeting. Many residents spoke out about the dancing cop. <laughs> Among cheers, one by one, mostly East Providence residents took a stand. We spoke from the hop because we spoke on an issue that mattered to us. East Providence Mayor Thomas Rose listened as residents thanked him and council members for their decision not to allow dancing cop Tony Lepore to perform in the city for the holidays. Mayor Rose initially invited the retired Providence police officer to direct traffic after the capital city informed Lepore they would not use him this year after he organized a boycott against a Dunkin' Donuts where an employee wrote Black Lives Matter on a police officer's cup. Amid racial tensions, nationwide residents say they blame the mayor for even considering hiring the dancing cop. Once we realized what type of controversy, like I said, that it was causing, we turned around and decided to take it off the docket. It was the right thing to do. It should have never been on a docket um, in that it shouldn't have even been a consideration that he would have been um, performing here in East Providence. We did not need to use our tax dollars and employ this um, person. And we didn't want this negativity coming to our city. Tony Lepore says he respects the decision. It's not mad at anyone. I'm not angry with uh, East Providence. And Pawtucket and Providence residents also attended that meeting to speak on behalf of those concerned East Providence residents. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.